Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. Today's video is going to be my base routine. I posted a video maybe like a year and a half ago, two years ago. I'll link it, but it was my base routine then and it was absolutely obnoxious. I used like 17 million different primers. I still use a bunch of different primers, but like that was obnoxious. And I felt like I have changed my routine up a little bit and wanted to share that with you. So that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you my flawless base routine. So if you want to look flawless and filtered, then just keep watching. So I always like to start with a hydrating primer and right now I've been loving the Makeup Revolution Alien Slime Primer from their Simpsons collection which I find absolutely hilarious because I've never seen the Simpsons but this primer is absolutely bomb when it comes to like hydrating the skin. I really really like this one. And then I'm going to go into the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. When I tell you this changed my life, it literally makes my skin look like it's a filter. Like it is a filter in a bottle. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm obsessed. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the mattifying primer from Bobbi Brown. This is literally an oily girl's dream primer. It is absolutely fantastic. It keeps you matte all day long. It's a little bit pricey, but it is so totally worth it. And then finally, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, and I'm just going to pop that on my cheeks, forehead, and chin, and then blend it in with my hands. I love the way that my skin looks when I put this on. It just gives you a really nice, natural-looking skin finish. I don't know. I really, really like it. For foundation, I use the NYX Born to Glow foundation. This has been one of my favorites for years. I have not found a foundation that I like more than this, and I feel like I never will because this is absolutely just the best foundation in the entire world. It gives great coverage. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It looks natural. It's just, it's fantastic. Look at the difference. Like, I just, I crack up. I can't. For concealer, I have been absolutely obsessed with the Bear With Me Concealer Serum from NYX. I pop this under my eyes, on my chin, and on my forehead, and it's phenomenal. Blends out super nicely, and it's very full coverage. It says medium coverage, but it's, it's really, really good. Then I like to use cream contour. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in light, and I'm just going to go ahead and do the little three trick all over my face. So my forehead, my chin, my jaw, and then I also pop it on my nose, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. This is really, really nice for giving you a really nice natural looking contour. Like once you blend it out, you really, it just looks like you have naturally chiseled cheeks and like a really nice bronzed up forehead. I just, I really like this product for honestly, like for when I'm doing like full face makeup, but also for when I'm doing like no makeup makeup, I pop it on my cheeks and it just, it gives me a really nice bronzy glow. I just, I really, really like it. I also like going in with a cream blush. So I'm going to go in with the blush from Made by Mitchell. I'm just going to pop this on the tops of my cheeks and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Now I'm going to bake. So I'm going to go in with the Cody Airspun powder and I'm going to pop that under my eye to bake and then with whatever's left on my sponge I'm just gonna pack that onto my skin to set down the rest of my makeup. I'm also gonna bake a little bit on my forehead but not too too much. While my face is baking I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is the Kylie bronzer in khaki. This has been my favorite one recently. I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks on my forehead and on my jaw. We're just gonna bronze up the skin. And then I'm also going to contour my nose and pull it into my crease. We're gonna give ourselves a really bronzed up look today. I'm gonna go back in with that powder now and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all of my contour bronzer just to make sure that it's super chiseled and like clean, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna make some lines underneath my cheekbones and I'm also gonna put it on my nose. After everything has baked, I'm gonna go in with my NYX mattifying powder and just dust off all of the excess powder. We're just gonna dust, 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 and then also in the process, like continue to set my face. For powder blush, I usually use whatever I can find. I've been loving using eyeshadow recently. This is just from uh, the Morphe 3503 palette and I'm gonna pop that on my cheeks and also on my nose. And then for highlight, same thing, whatever I can find. We're gonna go into the shade Fair Play from the Carnival XL Pro on my cheeks and also on my nose. I love highlighter. Then because I've just powdered a bunch, I'm gonna go ahead and fix my eyebrows. I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer and just pop it in my crease to give us a little defined crease moment. And then I'm gonna go in with some mascara, pop that on my lashes. I'm gonna pop false lashes on as well. And then to top everything off, I'm gonna go in with the matte setting spray from Maybelline. 
That is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. This is my foundation routine, my base routine. I don't know, this is how I get my really flawless, smooth, kind of filtered skin. I still do use a bunch of primers, but I feel like all of those primers really help me get to the beautiful end product, I guess. My faith is not in like the foundation and the concealer. It really lies in the primers. I feel like if you have a really good primed base, everything else is gonna sit nicely on top, but that's just me. But yeah, this is what we're working with. Let me zoom in real quick and show you like what really is going on. My skin is just super smooth. It looks soft, it looks natural, it doesn't look heavy. I just, I really, really like it, so. That is where we're at. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.